Hi, my name is Fred Newman. I'm the owner of the View Camera Store, and today I'd like to talk about the View Camera Store's film testing service. Now, the View, the View Camera Store's film testing service is based on Phil Davis's Beyond the Zone System book. And the nice thing about our film testing service is I do all the work, and the only work that you have to do is process film. So I'm going to go through all the steps for you one at a time. One of the things I really like about this film testing procedure, it enables photographers, whether you're shooting roll film or sheet film, to get really good negatives right after you do the film test. So I could take a beginner, do, have them do a film test, and they'll get immediately get really good results. So it's to me, it makes a lot of sense because the worst thing is you're going to go out photographing, and you're going to come out with really bad negatives and they're not going to be fun to print. And having really good negatives makes life in the dark room a lot more fun. Right here, you've probably seen this in the back of all the videos I've been doing. This is my calibrated light source. I've been using this light source for over 20 years for film testing. What I have here is a, is a cold light light source, a timer, and a little rheostat to adjust it. I have a contact frame for exposing, which I use to expose when I expose all the film, and I use an incident meter for all my light readings. And basically, I take the dome off the meter, turn on the light source, take a reading, and our typical reading is four tenths of a second at an EV value of four for ASA 100 films and two for ASA 400 films. All the film testing, of course, is done in the dark, so don't forget, everything is done in the dark. Now, for 4x5 film, I use a 4x5 Stouffer's Stouffer Step Tablet. And basically, what I do is I make a contact print, put the film, the step tablet. I have a piece of black tape so I know which is the non-emulsion side. I put it in my contact frame here, and then I make my exposure. And typically, I will make five exposures. And you'll notice over here I have a paper safe and usually I have a little box for the film. So when I start out, I, ca I count out five sheets of film, put them in here, and make five exposures. Now the 4x5 step tablet is used for 4x5, 5x7, 4x10. Now what I have is little masks, and you'll see this written up in the book Beyond the Zone System. What I do is I put the mask with the film and make exposures for 5x7. And I have another mask for 4x10. Four so basically, any size between 4x5 and smaller than 8x10, I use this step tablet. Now for 8x10 film, I use an 8x10 step tablet. And just like before, just make a little sandwich, put it in the contact frame, and make an exposure. Now for testing 35 millimeter and 120, what I do is I tape the 8x10 step tablet into the contact frame. And as again, I said, this is done in the dark, and this is what I do for you. I expose all the film. So with 35 millimeter, the first thing I do in the dark is unroll the whole roll of film, set it in the contact frame, and you'll notice here I have a little piece of masking tape. That's sort of my guide so I can feel it in the dark. And I cover this half, and then I go over to the foot switch, and I make an exposure. Then I wind this back into the cassette, and I will make two more exposures. So you'll see on a roll of 35 millimeter, you'll see three sets of the step tablet. Now for 120 film, what I do is, let me just get rid of the paper here. I roll it onto another reel. And all, again, this is all done in the dark. I just have to load it in the light, then the rest done in the dark. And I wind it all the way up until I could feel the tape holding the film in. I put it in. In the, in the contact frame again, lock it down, cover this half, and then I'll make, I'll, then I'll wind it up and I'll make one more exposure. 
this is how I expose all the film. So if you want to do 4x5, you use a 4x5 step tablet. 5x7, you use a 4x5 step tablet with a mask. And 8x10, you use the 8x10 step tablet. And this is also used for all the roll films. Okay, when all the, film, the rolls of film or sheets of film are exposed, I'll send them off to you to be processed. And our typical processing times for most of the tests are 4 minutes, 5 and a half, 8, 11, and 16. In the next video, I will show you what it looks like when I take the densities of the step tablet. And here's what a 4x5 test looks like. It's five sheets of film. And I read all these densities. And again, here's what, so you can see what a mask looks like with a 5x7. And this is just one strip of the 35 millimeter, and the 120 looks very similar. So what, what I'm going to do next in the next video is show you how taking the readings and putting them in the plotter program. I uh, hope this gives you an idea how we do it, and thank you very much for watching.